Hello, today I'll show you how to make a more realistic laser reflection in Scratch. As you can see, with this newer laser, it can reflect any curved and any angled surface, as you can see, accurately. Unlike the older version, which if you try to reflect using a circle, or it won't be as accurate or on a angled surface it'll just make it still as if it were flat but with this one as you can see much more realistic angles on curved surfaces so let's get started first delete the cat and paint a sprite name it laser now use the circle tool make sure there is no outline and make the fill whatever you want and press shift and drag a small circle and now drag it in the middle and make sure that it's two by two pixels and name it Hitbox. Now, paint another sprite called Rotate Hitbox. Then use the Line tool, make the outline 4. Then on this pixel, press Shift and draw out a straight line like this. And make sure it's on the left of the center, like that. And lastly, paint in a small laser thing. Make the outline a nice darkish gray. And the fill a nice lighter gray. and draw the laser like this and make this go to back animate laser now when green flag is clicked forever then make a new block called create laser and run without screen refresh and also add an input called move. And in here, place input 2. And now. First, switch costume to hitbox. Then click the bottom left button and click pen. Now, erase all. And set pen color to a nice red color. And now go to zero, zero. And point towards mouse pointer. Now. Repeat until. And then touching edge. Then, and in repeat until, pen down. Then, change X by, and then, using this, the sign of, direction times move. And change Y by change Y by cosine of direction times move. And now in between these add an if touching and now paint a new sprite called obstacle. 
and with this use the box tool and you can create some obstacles or even use the print paintbrush tool to create some different or curved surfaces like this and in here when green flag is clicked go to zero zero and now back in laser change x by sine of direction times move times negative one and now pen up and now we want to find the surface angle of where the laser hits and we make a new block called find surface angle and add an input called dir for direction and x and y and run without screen refresh and now for here input dir x and y and now or actually we don't need the x or y and now create a new variable called surface third for this sprite only and now set surface dir to zero and pen up now point in direction dir then switch costume to the rotate hitbox then repeat until not touching obstacle and we move by negative one and after that we move one more by negative one and now to actually find the surface we repeat until touching obstacle and with this change surface dir by two and rotate clockwise by two and after that point back into direction dir and then instead turn clockwise by negative two degrees while still changing surface direction by two and after that we set surface dir to surface dir divide by two plus direction like that and switch costume back to hitbox and now to find the correct angle to reflect at we use surface dir plus 180 then subtracted by dir subtract direction or actually dir subtract surface dir and with this we should find the angle and then move by one and pen down and now you have this we duplicate the if touching mouse pointer make sure that this is if touching obstacle and same here and then we change this from this 
to change y by n with the times negative 1. And lastly, for the laser to appear, go to 0, 0, point towards mouse pointer, and switch costume to laser. And now if you test it, as you can see, you have a laser pointer. And if you hit or use the laser, as you can see, the laser will reflect. And make sure to add a pen up over here. Or actually not over here, but down here. So that they will result in that extra line. Now if you test it, as you can see, it will reflect based on the curves of the obstacle. And to prevent lag, add in a new variable called bounces for this sprite only. And up here, set bounces to zero, and then in find surface angle, change bounces by one. And in the repeat until, add in a repeat until edge, or bounces is greater than 50 or more if you want. So that if it does result in a lot of bounces, it won't be leggy. And now you have a nice, realistic, and accurate bounce, or ref laser reflection in Scratch. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.